Let's do this. Okay, first out is Cornelius. This is Darkova. Could trying to fight this even be considered a battle? Is that you? Did you use the secret magic? Answer me! Yes, it is true. Who's there? Let me introduce myself. I am Urzer's acquaintance. You're one of them. Is what you said true? Is this really Ingwe? Indeed. He used the secret technique in order to stop the cauldron. But little did he know that there is also a spell to control the Darkova. Control it? That's impossible. If there was, my father would not have been forced to kill my grandfather. After the incident with King Gallen, your father had us research the spell. Our work was successful. My father? What are you planning to do? Foolish questions deserve no answers. If you plan to stop me, you will become a victim of my loyal servant. <clears throat> Ingwe, I feel for you. You are innocent in this. My father also fought a demon beast with this. I'm not afraid. Just wait. I won't let you suffer. Okay, let's do this again.
言ってた歌だよ。なんなんなんなんなんなんなんなんなんなんなんそう、the prophecies state 
Even if you are the shadow, a common warrior like you will never be able to kill me. Wanna bet? So much shit. Okay, let's move this up here. Bye 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 Take a time. Butterfly. Oh, <laughs> 
Did I pick him? Oh, I hate invisible. This is such a useless spell. Poster again. What is happening? My heart cries out. Why you? Only Titanian. Ah, who was your father? I never knew my parents. Do not forget that. But a dragon once told me. My father was a man named Edgar. Edgar! I had considered that he would take the throne over his brother Edmund. The throne of Titania? But he chose to defy me and married that woman. He left resenting me, and I knew one day he would try to take my life. This is why I had him killed in secret. <sighs> Asshole. So, Edgar's son escaped. Twas inevitable. Then, my killer would be of royal blood. Destiny tripped me again. Edgar, 
he let me escape to the fairy kingdom. So I wasn't abducted, but was found instead. Like Melvin said, he said I was just a tool. But when he first found me and raised me, there must have been something there. Titania is sinking. The kingdom is dying. Well, with almost everyone else being about everyone else being a uh, royal, so he should have been one as well. Okay. Next up is Mercedes. It's burning! Is someone... Is there anyone left from my country? Ah, Queen, here you are. Hello, asshole. Your forest is in ashes. Onyx. The world burns. Don't be so smug. If the world is ending as the prophecies say, then you will not survive it. Prophecies? It all follows the poems. But where is this so-called world tree that is supposed to stop me? It does not exist! Observe the scorched earth. I don't know which tree your prophecies mention, but it obviously isn't here. Is the mutterings of senile old mages. Their words are mistaken. Flame covers the world as it was when it began. Even if the country is destroyed, my mother would never give up. I won't stop drawing my bow. I will act as a queen until the very end.
can't be. It wasn't in the prophecies. I thought they didn't believe in them. The Inferno King dead? Yep. Mercedes. I'm a fool. I didn't see it coming. But, little queen, the prophecies are still incorrect. In this barren land, there are no survivors. Boss fight fights. And it's time for Velvet again. And this time I will show the cutscenes like they are. Too much. Look away from me. I am insane enough. Worry not. I will take everyone along with me. To the end of the world. I'm gonna kick your ass. Or maybe not yours, but I'm gonna kick it. Somehow. It went.
the velvet please well this is a good start Take it, thank you, little.
One boss left. The furnace's core survives. But with the systems destroyed, it cannot move or fire its beams. What's your scheme, Velvet? <laughs> yes. The cauldron is mine. No one else can command it. If they try, they will deeply regret it. For I cast a curse on it. What? Uh... Fainted, huh? I cannot forgive your meddling, you... Ah! Why are you here? In her shape! So pitiful. My hollow eye sockets produce no tears. Too bad, Velvet. My work here is done. Like myself, your inheritance is a mere shell of its former glory. Now come, Leventhen! The time of your awakening is nigh! Come forth! Well, there are only one left. Gwendolyn. Leventhon. This is that little dragon? Yep. It's long enough to encircle the entire continent. The King of Snakes. My sister mentioned the Leventhon to me once. The prophecies are as unstoppable as the stars. Tis impossible. Twould be like putting out a volcano with a bucket of water. It is too much. Ah, we can do it. Said that. 
Look carefully. It's wedged on its horn. So that's... Hello, Autovex. Just in time for the final battle. I'm doing all right. How about you? Bad to soon then. Yeah, it has been quite epic. Got a lot of sad endings and so. I have de defeated this. Asshole several times before, so I can defeat him again.
come on, Gwendolyn, you defeated him as a kid. You can defeat him as a grown adult too. Just a little bit more. And we beat the game. Kill the baby dragon again! My wings are destroyed. I cannot fly. I can't. A strike like lightning. There has never been anyone as brave as you in all of history. Tis a great honor for a Valkyrie. I've watched you grow. Silly bird. I thought you were me. You sound like my sister. I am you. We share blood. I share my sister's pain. Griselda? This all follows the pawns. I'm so proud of you. I can leave with confidence. Goodbye, Gwendolyn. We'll meet at World's End. Griselda, that won't be long now. Before I die, I wish I could light the sky and tell him how I feel. My dearest Oswald. Time for a last book. world disappear like that. It's just a story. Oh, but Grandpa really liked these books. Right, Socrates? It's so sad that everyone in the world died, though. Huh? Wait... This is one of the coins the Puka were looking for. You know, from the illustrations. This is Valentine's symbol. <clears throat> Puka, dear Puka, let me give you this coin in return for your story. Now you can be humans, right? Like that'll really happen. What is it, kitty? I just felt like saying it, that's all. I tore off the book's decoration. Hmm, I'll ask Daddy to fix it later. The cat's gonna stare at nothing. Like cats usually do. They sit there and stare at nothing.
Good. You're alive. When I first saw you falling, for the first time I prayed that I'd save you. I think I overdid it. That's the magic cauldron. It's still there. Cornelius. I'm all right. How's the cauldron? I stopped it without destroying the core. But all the phosons it absorbed from the world have been used up. At this rate, the salvation Iwe talked about is... Friend or foe? She have it. Is this fate? After all this, it's made its way here. But the furnace has no more power. Oh, Master Croy, I finally understand. There's still some power. The crystals are right here. In this cipher, the blade is a crystal. If I turn them back into phosons, they could power the cauldron. No, Velvet. If you use the cauldron, you'll be cursed. Cornelius, everything that has happened has been leading up to this moment. They are the crownless lords from the poems. They will be the ancestors to all of humanity. No pressure. And this hand wearing the ring shall be the savior from the prophecies. Velvet. The ground is crumbling. We must hurry. I must reverse the magic's flow. Ciphers, give yourselves. Release the source of life! Back its soul. I hereby request Arion's revival. Let the seed of life flow. Obey the ring, Cauldron. You are no longer an abomination, but the mother of all, filled with hope. Everywhere we look, the land is ruined. Tis worse than the netherworld. Are we the only ones who survived this? That I do not know. But tis a miracle that we survived it all. Perhaps... <sighs> Let's find a place to rest. In this shattered world... Will there ever be a place that can accept us, after we've hurt the world so? Gwendolyn... Wait... Something's happening...
Rose World. What is it? The land. It's as if a new world is being revealed. Gwendolyn, we're witnessing a miracle. We cannot give up. We must have hope. We finally collected all the coins from Valentine. All the coins my grandfather created are here. Let's see. We should test this now. Magical coins. After these thousands of years of toil, if you are all here, answer my call. Enlightened one, shall I sing your praises? Who has gathered all the coins from my kingdom? Ah, oh, that face. Tis my grandfather when he was a kind man. It is I, your granddaughter, Velvet. He cannot hear you. This is only an image from the past. Who is the one to have amassed such a fortune? It matters not. Such a lofty accomplishment deserves a grand celebration granted by my incredible power. Hear me and rejoice. Allow me to grant any wish. One single wish. Think carefully. I've waited Dr. Caramel so ice cream, please. Day. Of course. I want to break the curse on us. Wait, Velvet! Do you really wish that? All of us cursed to be Puka. We can live forever in a timeless vacuum in these bodies. We can live forever in love. Just as we are now. And our souls will go on, even after our flesh finally gives up. This curse is eternal. And our souls will never return to the land. But if we become humans, we will die before a hundred years have passed. Cornelius, instead of living eternally while cursed, I believe that it is more noble to live out a natural life among other humans. Yes, I agree. For millennia, we have observed the lives of other people. But even in these prosperous times, we cannot say that the people are happy. The world is filled with heartache, as it was before the Armageddon. But the sun will always rise. There is always a path. Yes. The world was not destroyed. And he just patiently waits. The descendants else of Gwendolyn and Oswald live on today. Their souls survive in this land that they have saved. The blood of Valentine must also be passed on. Cornelius. King Valentine, we have decided. Listen to the voices of your coin's owners. Break this spell and return our humanity. Rejoice! With this, you may fear that the power within you is fading as well. But it remains. Hear me, those who have worked together. Your efforts are greater than any mere magic. Live your new lives to the fullest. Until death do us part.
I shall never let you go. Our lives will go on together. And that's it. Well, there's one extra scene after war, so. that didn't really get a happy ending was Ingwei and Mercedes since they died in the final battle but the, in the remake it's um, shown that Mercedes were at least reincarnated as a tree so she visited Ingwei in the afterlife like that <laughs> like fun Now the th theory is that they were reincarnated as um, the little girl's parents, but uh, it's, I don't think it's confirmed. So maybe they got a happy ending too? I guess it can be a bit confusing. Also, a lot more humans should have survived the uh, Armageddon because <laughs> I don't think two people are able to. Yeah, they say that this, but the two people can't really repopulate the entire world <laughs> because. Uh, there would be a lot of inbred, and that's not very good. There must have been more people who were revived after the Armageddon. From what it seems, from what Cornelius has said, uh, continue the bloodlines. It seems like the Puka can't uh, have babies. So <laughs> there wasn't too, probably too many born from that.
enough. To show the bit that's apparently Mercedes. Rain can eat after wall tree. I thought that was only in the remake version, but maybe it was just the scene with the, her and Ingway. Oh, maybe the bonus scene is only shown if um, I get every single ending. But uh, that's not something I'm able to because Mercedes is a pain to use against a cauldron. Let's see. Yep. The final scene there. Quite a lot of scenes. about something but ah can change it well there isn't much else to do here now I will make some edits in the, the past videos and search maybe cut down this in part I will see Next time, I'm not too sure what I will be streaming. I haven't really decided yet. Uh, there are two games I want to play, but uh, I don't know which, which one I should pick first. Uh, we'll probably flip a coin or something. Maybe I'll ask on Discord to see what sounds more fun to see. One of them uh, will be a lot of reading on my side because there are no voice acting in that game. <laughs> While the other one has, uh, has uh, some voice acting. That should be an easy one. Anyway. I should probably start getting ready for the day, so... Thank you for watching and hope uh, the rest of... Yeah, it is. Hope you will have a good rest of the day. And I will write uh, suggestions uh, on the games. So, see you next time and take care now.